This is aromatic red western cedar. It's a beautiful wood from out west, you know, the great northwest, California, Oregon, and the Washington area. It smells beautiful. It's a softer wood, so you'll get a lot of denting if you use this wood, but it's a hard soft wood, if that makes any sense. You know, you can feel it as you're working with it. It does contain a little bit of silica and, and uh, sap pockets as you're working with it. So you gotta be careful, you know, it does work pretty easily with tools, but over time it will dull you a bit because you get a lot of sap on it. Now this is a, a standard Tele body. This is a very light body. It's about 1.3 pounds. So what's great about this wood is it's very light, it's very resonant, you know, and you can make, you know, a really light guitar. So if someone's got a back problem, or they're just looking for a real light guitar body, this is a really good choice. You know, this will be a warm guitar body in the sense that when I put humbuckers in here, it'll be very warm for a telly. It won't be, you know, a bright shrilling telly. So this definitely will have a, a different tone. In terms of tap tone, wood's got a great tap tone. You'll see this on a lot of acoustics. You know, if you wanted to brighten up this wood, you would add a maple top or a harder, higher density wood for a top. That way you'd be able to, you know, have a light back wood, but then a great hardwood uh, on the top. You get a really different tap tone dynamic. So this I was looking for a warm guitar body with humbuckers. You know, to get like a real less polished type of sound. But if you put a maple top or, you know, a harder top wood on, then you'll change the tone of this guitar. So right now this will be a very warm sounding guitar body. You know, the wood's relatively inexpensive to work with. You know, even at your local lumber yard, you can find wider boards and you can do like a pancake glue up or you can do strip glue up. And it's a, a good alternative wood. I don't think you see a lot of solid body guitars made out of this. You'll see some acoustic tops and backs. Uh, I don't think you'll see a lot of sides. But overall, I think it's a good wood. It's got, you know, decent workability, but it does contain, you know, some sap. So you got to be careful with that. You know, you'll see a lot of closets lined with this material as well and if, if you stink really bad this is be a good guitar because it has just a, a beautiful fragrance you know they put this in closets to keep moss away because of its smell um, so overall red western cedar is a good wood to work with you can find it at your local you know lumber yard you can also find it kiln drying you know this is eight quarters so this is a little bit higher end quarter sawn for guitar tops